A six county trail system across central PA is moving forward after about a year after being first proposed. Not only will this give families some new adventures, it could also be a boost to the local economy. Our Ryan Risky has the story. More than 40,000 ATVs are registered in central Pennsylvania, which is why the Allegheny Ridge Recreation says a six county trail system would be a bonus for local riders, tourists, and the economy. We have a lot of great riding around here, and uh, West Virginia has been very successful with their ATV trails down there. Um, $47 million a year is what ATVs are pumping into the economy. And uh, we can repurpose a lot of the old mines, a lot of the old rail beds, logging roads, things of that nature, and we could have a pretty good trail system in our area as well. Using the old mines and logging roads will also keep the trail environmentally happy. The multi-use trail will give anyone on or off an ATV a chance to see many historical sites throughout Pennsylvania. We're looking at, uh, you know, starting in Maryland, we come up, hit Flight 93. We have the Johnstown Flood Memorial. We have the Allegheny Portage Railroad. We have the Horseshoe Curve. Just a lot of history around here that people uh, can get out and experience. And by the time that we're done, um, our trail system alone is going to probably have about 500 miles on the ground. And when we connect that with other projects going on in the state, we're looking at border to border. Wagner says the trail will also allow families to spend time together since family riding is a growing trend among ATV enthusiasts. And it allows the family to get back out there together and, and ride and enjoy it. Uh, we know a lot of people, our demographic is basically 35 to 55. And, uh, you know, it's families out there that are riding. And it just gives the family an opportunity to get out, maybe experience a little bit more, uh, see a little bit more than hiking would. The association is seeking permission to start building the trail from landowners it will cross. Reporting for WTAJ News, I'm Ryan Risky.